We recently put together a video that explained all of the things you can do with a drone that's for good. Now, one of the things you could do with a drone that's great is to help stop poaching. And we thought it was a really promising technology that was beginning to be rolled out, but perhaps it's not being rolled out quick enough because this week, Kenya saw one of the worst massacres of elephants in many years. Here's Adam with some more detail. This is an entire family of elephants that were gunned down and mutilated by poachers for their ivory. There were 12 of them found in Savo National Park, including a two-month-old juvenile. It's the biggest massacre of elephants in recent years in Kenya, but is a sign of a boom in the illegal ivory trade. Park rangers have been tracking the gang. They think there were about 20 poachers involved in total, but they haven't managed to make an arrest yet although the rangers do sometimes manage to track the poachers down. A couple of days after this massacre, in a completely different part of the country, the Kenya Wildlife Service did manage to catch up with two suspected poachers, and then they shot them dead. They were found in Isiolo County with eight pieces of ivory, a rifle and ammunition, as well as weighing scales. But while there might be the occasional success, this is a growing problem. There are around 39,000 elephants in the country and in recent years poaching has been increasing, with the demand for ivory in some Asian countries on the rise. Poaching is still on the increase, so what can we do to stop it? Perhaps we need to stop the demand for ivory, or maybe we need to punish the poachers even more. Let us know your thoughts in a comment, and maybe we could even do a debate about this. Now, tomorrow for Truth Learner Investigates, Sam has got some great pieces lined up, so do stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss out. We have a piece about a cyborg, we have a piece about why we have not gone back to Mars yet, and we also have a piece about an army of citizen scientists who are discovering planets. Fascinating stuff. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out and we will see you again next time.